Uh, in this problem, it says find the ratio of the area of a circle inscribed in a square. So we take our square, we inscribe a circle within it, and we want to compare that to the area of a circle circumscribed about the same square. So we're comparing it to this. Right? And you're looking for the ratio of their area. So if we look at these... If we look at these two figures, okay, the blue represents the radius of my large circle, the red represents the radius of my smaller circle. So I'll use a lowercase r and a capital R here. Okay, and we're just interested in the ratio. So again, you can use r's. So we can leave this in terms of r if we want to. We can uh, plug in numbers for these. But hopefully you kind of see the relationship that's going to exist right here. And that is if you tie the two radii into a shape that can contain both of them. And so that shape is this right triangle. What kind of a right triangle are we dealing with here? This radius winds up cutting this square in half. So this segment, this tangent segment will also be R. So we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle here. And so if you're looking at the ratio of parts, and I'm going to do this a couple different ways. If the ratio of parts is R to, so that's the radius of the small circle. Well, if in terms of lowercase r, in this 45, 45, 90 triangle, we have R, R. What's the hypotenuse going to be? If I bring that out, R, R, R root 2. So the ratio of parts is R to R root 2, or 1 to root 2. What does that mean the ratio of their areas is going to be? 1 squared to root 2 squared. So that's the easiest way to approach this. And, and I've mentioned this before. If you, if you get comfortable or familiar enough working with ratio of parts to ratio of areas, you can often take a complicated or more complicated problem and make it really easy mental math. Right? The other way that you would solve this is potentially um, you just give a value to one of these r's. So if you were to say that, let's say in this particular case, the radius of 1, if that's 1, then again, you'd still have to kind of relate this whole thing. 1, 1, 1 root 2. So the radius of the larger circle would be root 2. And then you just take the ratio of pi times 1 squared over pi times root 2 squared. And it's going to wind up seeing the same thing. The pi's cancel, 1 over 2. You have relatively easy numbers to work with, whichever way you choose to, to work through this problem.